ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி நியோலோட் லைசன்சிங் தி லைசன்சிங் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தி நியோலோட் ஸோ பேசிக்கலி தி ட்ரைசென்டிஸ் நியோலோட் சப்போர்ட் செவரல் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரைசிங் ஃபிட்டட் to every use of neo load which starts with the regular and then we have the shared license and then we have the virtual user hours so when it comes to the regular license so it can be either a permanent or it can be a temporary and a regular license is linked to one machine something like this so this is linked to one machine and the neo load controller is used on this machine so neo neo this proposes two regular licenses that are the standard and professional editions and then next comes the shared license or shared license allows making the best of the authorized virtual users capacity between several machines so when distributing the virtual user capacity the neo load controller can be used on several machines simultaneously in fact the tricentis edition allows us to take full advantage of a shared license features and the last one which is the virtual user hours which and in this mode can be used in two different ways the first one is by performing the cloud testing with the neo load for the duration of our testing campaigns without having to purchase a license in this case the virtual user hours are used independently within a cloud session and any hour started is due in full and then the complete license virtual users in case that these are not enough to start a test so in this case the virtual users are, are stacked upon the license virtual users and they are calculated with an accuracy to the second so these are the different types of pricing fitted with license so let's now see the missing license section so when new load is started for the first time so we all might have seen it started so we get the missing license dialog box is displayed to choose the running mode so where we can choose either the enter license key or we can run in a no key mode so when we enter a license key or when we use the virtual user hours this option makes us to specify a license key or to use the virtual user hours only and to evaluate new load a click on the request a free key edition links open up the online form to ask for a free license whereas the run in no key mode option allows us to design the scenario so for example if i am not having any scenario so now i don't have any license but i can access the entire application i can record the scripts and i can do every action other even the validate the script but every other thing other than the runtime i can do any other actions that is what the run in no key mode does so what happens is so when we go to the edit and under that we have the preferences and then we have the general settings so under this we can see the license so when we go to the select the license settings so the license management screen is available here we have the license management screen and under this we have we can use a look a license file to load the license so loading a key with the enter license key button so when we click on the enter license key button so it will take us where we can upload a file or we can open the file which ends with dot lic which is the license file and then by using that so we can make a loader key operational with the active license activate license key button and we can even reuse the loaded and activated key on another machine but once deactivated with the transfer to another machine button and then by using a shared license which is retrieved from the new load web or new test team server with the following action so we can lease it manually for the virtual users capacity with the lease button and we can return a virtual user capacity with the lease so when we take a license and when we lease when we return our lease automatically that will be released and it can be used by the other users so we can even try that when we have an active license so we have the manage licenses offline and we have the auto lease so these are the options we have when we are running this licensing with the different options 
and then once we have loaded or activated our resort license key the license information so here we can see so once we have loaded the license information panel displays the main properties about the license like for whom it is been given and what is what are the product details and how many virtual users the web virtual users can be used and how many SAP virtual users can be used and even when we go for the more details we can even see what are the protocols that are supported and what are the features that are supported so all these things can be identified through this licensing information page So when it comes to standard and professional editions, which we saw in the first page of first few seconds of the video about the standard and professional editions. So the license keys for the standard and professional editions is node locked and linked to a single workstation. However, it may be transferred to another machine after a controlled process. So how to install a license key? So to install license key, we'll have to click on enter the license key button and then we choose the license key. So in this way, we can install the license key. So how to activate license key? So in case if you have a license, so once installed, the license key must be activated. Otherwise, it's, it, it's like more of no use. So how to do that? So for that, we'll have to go from the license management and under the license management, we have this option called activate license key. So once we click on this activate license key, which is between the enter license key and transfer to other machine. So once we click on it, it will take us to the activate window and that we can give the details. And once we give the details automatically, we can activate the license. And how to transfer a license key. So here we have the option where we have the option to transfer the license so in case if we have the option to transfer we can automatically transfer it so by clicking on the transfer to another machine so what is the use of it so an activated license key is associated with one machine however to meet specific needs such as like transferring new load onto a production machine or reinstalling new load the license key can be transferred to another machine something like the first step is disassembling the key from the source machine through a deactivation request and loading the cleared key onto the target machine and finally linking the key with the machine throughout through an activation request. And in fact, when upgrading new load on the same machine, it is unnecessary to deactivate the current key before activating the new key. However, this is required when the new load versions are installed on two different machines and in fact, one another point to remember that it is not necessary to perform the actions described above for the free licenses free licenses can be used on any machine and I'm just talking about the professional or the standard licenses which are provided other than the free licenses so now we will see about managing shared licenses offline on like how to manage it and how to use it so if unable to connect to neotis team server or neoload web from neoload and only in this particular case we can still lease and release license capacity in an offline mode so in this case we need to generate a request file to lease license capacity offline in neoload 9.0 and once after that we can process the lease request and generate a response file in neotis team server or neoload web and then we can import the lease response in neoload 9.0 and then we can generate a request file to release the license capacity of light in 9.0 and then the last one is to process the release request and successfully release the license capacity in neotis team server or neoload web so here we can see so we have opened the license window and then under this we have the license management and then the license where we can see the using as a server i used new load web and then i can you can see here i have the manage license offline and then when i uncheck or un uncheck this manage license offline i get this auto license auto lease and then if i click on see available licenses i can see if there are really any available licenses available licenses it will automatically load here and then we can see the available license in this screen
so in case if there are no see you can see here so since this is a free license so i don't have any other license so in case if someone else from my team in the share license is using it so i can select this lease and then for example i can just choose one user i mean like for example like 100 users and i can choose the duration for example if i want the mission for 10 years for 10 hours i can just choose it and then i when i click on lease automatically i'll get the lease and in case if i want to release so release which is a release i can just click on this release button and automatically this window will open and then i can select the users and i can click on release so automatically the users will be released so this is how we normally use this shared licenses and the offline licenses and then when it comes to the use which user asks with the cloud session so since i don't have any active license so i'm not able to show that but still i believe this video would have been very useful to you so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye from washington and little law